Necessity is the mother of invention. These inventors, these builders, these designers, these engineers were all testing the limits to start thinking like no one had ever thought before. These are the engineering marvels that revolutionized transportation. Nothing captures the imagination more than the automobile. Communication. The telegraph is a mind blower. I mean, it's really the first texting, if you think about it. And even save lives. Without the toilet, quality of life would be miserable. So how did we rank them? A panel of 100 experts averaged out the stats, innovation, and legacy. And as you'll see, they don't always agree. Steam engine is way too low on your list. Way too low. As much garbage as there is on the internet, I do think the good outweighs the bad. I love the printing press. It's the internet in the 15th and 16th centuries. So which invention came out on top? Let the countdown begin. Okay, so first of all, everything's computers. Your car, your iPhone, your watch, they're all computers, every single one of them. It's changed everything. I don't think you can say that about the telephone. Can't even say that about the, the steam engine. Without the computer, none of what we live in today ever works. We have lives now that we cannot even imagine leading in the absence of a personal computer. And I think it's unheralded. And all started from making sure that people didn't have to write down numbers for really long equations anymore. And now we never have to do math again in our lives. The dawn of this technology comes long before the personal computer way back in the 19th century. Ada Lovelace and Charles Babbage in the 19th century both theorized difference engines, which would be giant mechanical machines that you would crank, and each crank would produce logarithms and mathematical equations. Both the British and the Americans invented electromechanical computers in World War II, which spurred innovation. The breakthroughs that they made were out of necessity, and those were the first computers that were put to use in a regular way to do things that people aren't necessarily that great at. Repetitive calculations, looking for patterns, things like that at a very high level. I like to say a computer is really only good at one thing, which is doing math really, really fast, right? So fast math equals all sorts of cool stuff. And electronic computers are many, many orders of magnitude faster than mechanical computers. Early computers are huge. They are also painfully slow. But by the 80s, smaller personal computers are everywhere. I think the recognition that comes in 1982 is with Time Magazine naming the personal computer the person of the year. This is the beginning of the personal computer starting to be seen as an everyday thing that will move from an extravagance to a necessity. If the computer had never been invented, I think life's probably moving a little bit slower, things are a little more relaxed, and you'd still go to the bank like you used to. What's powerful about the personal computer is this freedom that people have to get as much information as they want, to go where they want, to imagine what they want. Putting high-performance computing in arm's reach everybody, even those you never imagined would have ever wanted or needed a computer, they have come to value it. And you know why? Once you start bringing your life onto a computer, all of a sudden the computer is an extension of you. That's why people can't live without it. I would say the light bulb today is one of the most underappreciated discoveries in modern civilization. And basically, there's no area of life that the light bulb hasn't touched. What's the first thing that you think of when you think of someone having a good idea? It's a light bulb over their head, right? I think you can make the case that the light bulb is the greatest invention of all time. For me, in terms of this list, the number one goat of inventions has got to be the light bulb. 
Look at any of the other inventions on this list. Could they have even been invented and perfected in a dark, candlelit room? It's hard to argue that light bulbs aren't great and a wonderful invention. But on the other hand, you know, candle light is still considered pretty romantic. And as much as we can romanticize life only in candle light, the truth is on a day-to-day -day basis, electricity brought longer life to people as well as brightness. It was a day you had to look for a matchstick and a flint and a candle or whale oil to illuminate the dark. You have an active burning flame in your home at all times after sunset. That's a fire hazard. This is a time when cities are becoming more concentrated. The Industrial Revolution creates a denser humanity, full of little nooks and crannies and streets and so that are dark and dangerous. So it was a very big issue. Yep, it takes from the beginning of time till the 1800s for the world to figure out something better than fire. Lots of people were trying to make a light source that could last and run even on electricity, but they were often made of materials that either didn't last very long or were really expensive. The filament was the really hard part to get right when it came to the light bulb. You can create light from any kind of release of energy, but the trick was to put that inside of a bulb so that we can control what's inside of that safely and, and repeatedly. People tried silk, people tried cork, they tried horse hair, they even tried beard hair. Edison spent many, many years and thousands of iterations. It was basically throwing enough stuff against a wall to see which one would stick in terms of creating a light bulb that wouldn't instantly burn down and would last a long enough time to become commercially viable. What worked for Edison was carbonized cardboard. This light bulb could burn for like 300 hours, which was a huge breakthrough for Edison at that time. There are these incredible exhibitions of these lighting technologies. Edison does one down in downtown New York, one of the first exhibitions. It's just a string of lights down the street, and people are wowed. I think no one enjoyed the impact of the electric light bulb more than Edison, because it meant that he could stay up all night. When the light bulb comes about, it really revolutionizes how we live, how we work, how we travel. I will begrudgingly give the light bulb number two because it's really a testament that some 150 years later, we're still using the same concept of screwing a bulb into a socket. Forget the light bulb. Top of the list. Greatest of all time, the discovery of electricity. We should bow down and worship electricity every day you get out of bed. Thank you. The internet and the personal computer that we all know and love, what do you think is behind that screen? I think modern photography wouldn't be what it is. Modern surgery really couldn't and wouldn't be what it is without the light bulb. All of this goes back to the Wizard of Menlo Park. So for me, the goat of all inventions has got to be the light bulb. There's not enough room on this list for all the amazing inventions out there. But we've seen some pretty incredible ones on the way to our GOAT. Our number one is truly a game changer. You may have guessed it, the printing press. The printing press, that's the number one. This simple machine, it is one of the great innovations in world history and has a revolutionary impact that is really impossible to measure. I don't understand how the printing press beat the light bulb. The light bulb should friggin' be number one. I fully endorse the number one spot on the list of greatest of all time inventions for the printing press. Yo, I'm on this show with crazy people. The printing press is number one. The printing press is above the light bulb. That's absolute bull I love the printing press. It's the internet in the 15th and 16th centuries. The printing press is unreal.
greatest single influence in molding the mind of mankind is still the written word. Prior to the printing press, most communication of ideas, of history, of literature was done by word of mouth. And that was true for going back thousands of years. At the time, most people were not literate. Most people could not afford books because there were so few books. Before the printing press, the book was the privy of the immensely wealthy because they had to be hand copied, usually by monks or talented scribes. They were special artifacts, only pulled out for special occasions and handed down generation to generation to generation. And the printing press is gonna change all that. Printing presses have a long history. There is a book that's printed in China in the ninth century and it was made by a printing press but it's quite different than what Gutenberg will invent. Johann Gutenberg was a goldsmith. He was a inventor in that he understood early modern technology, and he understood the use of metal in creating movable type. If we could change the process by which something is printed and make it simpler and faster, that we can now print way more stuff and at lower, lower cost. Basically, you can replicate hundreds of letters again and again with something called hand mold. You would take a metal pole, you would carve the reverse of your letter in it. You put in the hand mold, you pour lead in, and each time it came out, it would come out again and again and again identical. People are now able to think more independently, they're developing their own ideas, and they're committing those ideas to pen and paper and ultimately to the printing press. Oh my God, anyone can come up with an idea and anyone can put it out. Within 40 years of its occurrence, we have the Protestant Revolution, which is created solely upon the fact that Martin Luther can disseminate his ideas 50, 60, 70,000 copies at a time. That's unheard of in a time when it took five to 10 years to make a copy of one thing. I think the printing press definitely was a game changer in the Middle Ages. But ain't no way it's more important than like indoor plumbing, the telephone, or the light bulb. Okay, Adam, we hear you loud and clear, but you can't deny the printing press has an incredible side effect. More people learn how to read, and that leads to producing more things to read. One of the most important productions of a printer press is a newspaper. It really changes the way people get information, use information, and share information. The movable type Gutenberg printing press and its impact on the publishing world brought the world closer together. There's the scientific revolution. The printing press helps open up these ideas that, for example, the Earth revolves around the sun. And that's the type of information that printed books can bring. If you look at a Gutenberg Bible, it looks ancient, it looks very primitive, but it's the same way we would look at one of the earliest prototypes of the Apple computer. It looks ridiculous, but it's the beginning of something pretty astonishing and world-changing.